students and welcome you all uh, in the class kanun e shahadat uh, kanun e shahadat uh, module number 2 and in this course uh, we have already completed 121 articles and today is the 8th uh, 7th week of our class and uh, this is the part 3 and we are studying chapter number chapter number 9 chapter number 9 or 8 we are uh, studying currently so students uh, in today's lecture i'm going to teach you and uh, i'm going to take you uh, for the depth of the further knowledge regarding the uh, burden of proof in earlier articles in uh, from uh, 170 to 121 we have learned who is the burden to prove the facts uh, before the court of law in in their favor so in today's uh, scheme of lecture uh, to scheme of article so we are going to discuss further articles uh, from 122 to till the 129 <clears throat> but in article 122 128 direct on the home burden of proof will lie the court is bound to every instance to presume against that party on whom the burden of proof is directed to lie no option is given to the court as to whether it will presume the fact or not but there are various presumptions uh, where room is left for the court to exercise its power of in, uh, inference the court can throw the burden of proof on uh, whichever side it chooses this article deals uh, so uh, the article deals with the cases of that description it declares that court may in all cases uh, whatever draw from the facts before it whatever inferences it thinks just the terms of the articles are such as to reduce the, uh, to their proper position of mere maxims which are to be applied to facts of, uh, by the court in their discretion a large number of presumption to which english law gives to a greater or less extent an artificial value <coughs> Uh, nine of the most important of them are given by way of illustrations and so uh, 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 to students uh, earlier we uh, it, uh, by the uh, explanation and discussion of the articles of kanun e shahadat we have learned uh, initially uh, we have discussed that the initial burden lies on the party who asserts the any fact or in a criminal law uh, the uh, prosecution has to establish at the charge against the accused beyond the reasonable doubt so it is the duty of the prosecution uh, to prove all the facts uh, regarding the commission of the crime against the accused so uh, which uh, we have discussed at length in previous lectures but upcoming uh, articles uh, which are more important now i'm going to share uh, with you uh, today's slides and i would like to uh, draw your uh, draw, draw your attention uh, towards those i would like to invite your attention uh, towards the uh, slides of those articles <clears throat> so in the uh, today's uh, we are going to i'm going to read out initially the uh, contents of the article number 122 as per the uh, content of the article 122 is that <clears throat> the heading of this article is that the burden of proving fact especially uh, within the knowledge when any fact is especially within the knowledge of any person the burden of proving that fact is upon him so is ka matlab hua ye hua ke agar koi bhi fact especially kisi ke knowledge mein ho to wo usko hi prove karna hai jiske knowledge mein hota hai to illustration hai i am going to read out also illustration number 1 when a person does an uh, does an act with the some intention other than that which the character and circumstances of the act suggest the part burden of proving that intention is upon him it uh, is charged with the traveling on a railway without a ticket the burden of proving that he had a ticket is on him so with any person uh, traveling in a train or any bus uh, without ticket so uh, burden is lying on that person he has to prove that uh, burden beyond reasonable doubt uh, whether he had a ticket or not so in the article 122 burden of proving fact especially within the knowledge the section reads when any fact is especially within the knowledge of any person the burden of proving that fact is upon him so what is the further scope of uh, this article is that this section applies this article applies only to parties to suit 
this article lays down the principle that where any fact is especially within the knowledge of any person the burden of proving the fact lies on that person the fact may be of affirmative or negative character for example when a person is charged with a traveling without a ticket the burden lies on him that he purchased he has purchased the ticket so uh, further uh, i'm going to further uh, read out uh, <clears throat> the true purpose of this article is very clearly uh, uh, clearly uh, uh, from two illustration uh, appears from two illustration which follow the article the first illustration is that when a person does an act with some intention other than uh, that which the character and circumstances of the act suggest the burden of proving that intention is upon him so uh, initially uh, the pehli illustration is regarding the intention of a person okay uh, a person intention uh, intend something but did uh, another act so burden is lying upon him so what he was actually intended there has uh, there has to be an allegation of fact that allegation which would entitle the party to succeed would have ordinary to be approved by him. but if having regard to the nature of the allegation and such prima facie evidence which might be furnished or which might be apparent it is pleaded by the other side that thing did not happen in that way as it appeared the onus would then lie upon that party to prove the facts with his special knowledge and support of his plea further where a party to suit was a necessary witness uh, throw like about the transaction pleaded by him his non appearance as a witness would be the strongest possible circumstance going to discredit the truth of uh, his case where any fact was specially within the knowledge of any person burden of proving that fact would be upon that person where a particular fact was within the knowledge of a particular person burden of proving that fact was upon him which is that he had taken all reasonable precautions which an ordinary man of prudence would take so what what will be the scope of this article this article does not cast any burden on an accused person to prove that no crime was committed by proving facts especially within his knowledge nor does it warrant the conclusion that if anything is unexplained which the court thinks the accused could explain he ought, he ought therefore to be found guilty it does not affect the onus of proving the guilt of accused that onus rests on the prosecution and is not shifted on to the accused by reason of this article so further uh, uh, the uh, further the uh, meaning of uh, this article is that whatever the circumstances will be but onus always remain on the shoulder of the prosecution initially prove the guilt of the accused it it will never shift on the shoulder of the accused burden of proof where a party maintains that no gift deed was ever executed then onus to prove the gift lies on a person asserting that gift deed was well, uh, validly executed ab ye ek uh, illustration hai ke uh, a party jo hai डिनाई करती है कि कोई डीड जो है कभी एग्जीक्यूट ही नहीं हुई पर जो पार्टी बेनिफिटेड बेनिफिट लेना चाह रही है या लाइक करना चाह रही है अब उसके ऊपर होने से कि वो उस डीड को प्रूव करे उसकी एग्जिस्टेंस को तो ये तो था जो आर्टिकल 122 जो रिगार्डिंग था नॉलेज ऑफ एनी फैक्ट किसी भी फैक्ट की नॉलेज के बारे में अगर वो किसी के पास है तो उस फैक्ट की असरशन को फर्म्स को जो है दैट पार्टी विल प्रूव विद इन दैट नॉलेज ऑफ जब उसके नॉलेज में होगा नेक्स्ट जो आर्टिकल से नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल जो है रिगार्डिंग द डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ द इट इज रिगार्डिंग द डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ द डेथ ऑफ एनी पर्सन सो बोथ आर जो ये आर्टिकल वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री और वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर है these are these articles are interconnected with each other in that sense i'm initially i'm going to read out the uh, contents of both articles thereafter you will uh, easily understand it uh, what i want to uh, give you what you are, what i want to make you understand that the okay, article 123 uh, the heading of this article is that burden of proving death of a person known to have been alive 
विद इन दी थर्टी ईयर्स और आर्टिकल वन ट्वेंटी फोर के हेडिंग है बर्डन ऑफ प्रूविंग डेट पर्सन इज अलाइव हु हैज नॉट बीन हर्ड ऑफ फॉर सेवन ईयर्स तो जो कंटेंट्स है आर्टिकल 123 के विच आर दी सब्जेक्ट टू आर्टिकल 124 व्हेन द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर मैन इज अलाइव और डेड एंड इट इज शोन दैट ही हैज अलाइव विद इन 30 इयर्स द बर्डन ऑफ प्रूविंग दैट ही इज डेड इज ऑन दैट पर्सन हु वाज फ्रॉम सेट सो इट इज रिगार्डिंग द प्रोनाउंसमेंट ऑफ द डिक्लेयरिंग ऑफ द डेथ जो है वेदर अ पर्सन इज अलाइव और डेड If a person is no, uh, no more uh, in the contact of any person, or uh, lastly, वो जिसके साथ regularly contact में था, तो अगर उसके announcement जो है उसके बाद कि he is not in continuously without any जो है disconnection, वो continuously अगर उसका रात्ता नहीं कर रहा, और तीस साल पहले वो alive था, तो फिर उसकी declaration of जो है dead जो है या वैसे alive है तो वो किस तरह होगी तो फर्दर वन ट्वेंटी फोर एलोबरेट दैट वेन द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर मैन इज अलाइव और डेड एंड इट इज प्रूव दैट ही हैज नॉट बीन हर्ड फॉर सेवन ईयर्स बाय दो वुड नेचुरली हैव हर्ड ऑफ हिम इफ ही हैड बीन अलाइव द बर्डन ऑफ प्रूविंग दैट ही हैज अलाइव इज शिफ्टेड द पर्सन हु इज अम इट so these article 124 and 123 must be read together because the latter is only a provio to the rule contained in the former ab jo pehla provision 123 hai article wo to wo procedure jo hai wo 124 mein hai 123 jo hai it is acha 123 mein reference bhi hai 124 ka and both constitute one rule when so read together agar dono ko ab ek sath padhenge तो उसमें एक ही रूल जो है वो अपीयर होता है रिगार्डिंग दी डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ दी डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ दी अलवेदर पर्सन इज अलाइव और डेड तो बोथ आर्टिकल 123 ट्वेंटी रेड बर्डन ऑफ प्रूविंग डेथ ऑफ पर्सन नोन टू हैव बिन अलाइव विद इन दी थर्टी इयर्स वेन द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर मैन इज अलाइव और डेड एंड इट इज शोन दैट ही है ही वॉज अलाइव विद इन दी थर्टी ईयर्स द बर्डन ऑफ प्रूविंग दैट ही इज डेड इज ऑन द पर्सन हुआ फॉर्म सीट तो अब ये उसकी जो अब उसको डेथ उसको डेथ डिक्लेयर करवाना है तो उसके लिए जो एविडेंस और उससे जो इंफॉर्मेशन और जो फैक्ट प्रूव करने होंगे जो उसको डिक्लेयर कराना चाह रहा है ये उसके शोल्डर पे होंगे तो 124 ट्वेंटी फोर फर्दर लो ग्रेट दैट दी बर्डन ऑफ प्रूविंग दैट पर्सन इज अलाइव हु हैज नॉट बीन हेड ऑफ दी सेवन ईयर्स द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर मैन इज अलाइव और डेड एंड इट इज प्रूव दैट ही हैज नॉट बीन हेड फॉर दी सेवन ईयर्स बट those who would naturally have heard of him if he had been alive the burden of proving that he is alive is shifted the person who affirms it so further uh, illustration further understanding of the uh, these articles are that must be read together because the letter is only a provio to the rule contained in the formal and both constitute one rule when so read together what is that rule there is no presumption uh, in law that person was alive for 7 years from the time when he was last heard of this uh, the article deals with the procedure to be followed when a question is raised before the court as to whether a person is alive or dead but do not lay that the court uh, could make a presumption that a person was alive for 7 years after and the owner he was last heard of it depends on the circumstances of each case whether the court would draw such presumption or not so the, uh, this article authorizes the court what is the scope of these articles uh, these articles are authorized the court to make certain presumption of it what are those presumption they are all presumption which may naturally arise but legislature by the use of the word may instead of the shall both in the body of article and in the illustration shows that the court is not compelled to raise them but is to consider whether in our circumstances of the particular case they should uh, be raised and what what be the presumption presumptions may be either of law or fact and when the law may be either conclusive which means uh, yeah, presumptions juris et de jure and rebuttable presumption de jure but when of fact are always rebuttable mixed presumptions are those which are partly law partly fact so <clears throat> presumption of law 
uh, differ from the presumption of fact in the following uh, jo hai respect a presumption of law or a presumption of fact kis tarah ek dusre se different hai number 1 presumption presumptions of law derive their force for, uh, from law while the presumption of the fact derive their force from logic and though many of the former have in, uh, intrins, uh, intrinsic logical weight being indeed derived from the latter yet there are other which have none number 2 a presumption of law applies to a clause the condition of which are fixed and uniform but presumption of fact applies to individual cases the condition of which are inconstant uh, and fluctuating um, it means ke law ki jo presumption hai wo universal hoti hai sabke liye ek jaisi hoti hai lekin jo presumption of fact jo hoti hai wo individual case ke hisab se wo change hoti rehti hai number 3 last one jo hai presumption of law are drawn by the court and in the absence of the opposing evidence are conclusive for the party in whose favor they operate presumption of fact are drawn by the jury who may disregard them however cogent <coughs> so ye to uh, students ye to uh, jo illustrations thi are regarding the article 123 or 24 ke liye thi wo kyun जिसमें हमने प्रज्यूम करना है किसी बंदे के जो है उसके वेयर अबाउट अगर पता नहीं हो कंटिन्यूसली तो वो अब कोर्ट फिर उसको किस तरह क्योंकि आफ्टर क्योंकि अगर किसी वो किसी फैमिली के साथ अटैच है वो मिसिंग है अ पर्सन इज मिसिंग फॉर अनडिफिनेट इनडेफिनेट टाइम तो उसकी अगर कोई प्रॉपर्टी है या उसके कुछ दुनियावी मामला हैं जो उसके होने से जो है वो जुड़े होते हैं अब वो ट्रांस उसकी सक्सेशन का मसला है या उनके मामला को आगे बढ़ाने का मसला है अगर उसकी कोई आ, आ, जो है लेडी के अगर कोई उसकी बेगमात है तो अगर वो उसका इंतजार कर रही है तो वो अब उनकी भी फ्यूचर का मसला है क्योंकि अब उनको क्या फर्दर लाइन लेनी है तो वेदर अब उसमें क्योंकि अब सेवन ईयर का एक कानून जो है एक सेपरेशन में भी वन ऑफ द ग्राउंड है कि सात साल तक कंटिन्यूसली अगर कोई अपनी वाइफ को जो है वेयर अबाउट्स का पता नहीं हो तो वो उसमें भी उसकी डाइवोर्स हो जाती है तो तो ये सारे प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं सोशली जो जुड़े होते हैं अब वो जरूरी होता है किसी को डिक्लेयर कराना पेरेंट पेरेंट एज का मसला होता है जो है अब अगर वो उसको नहीं कराएंगे तो उसको डिले होता होता रहेगा तो उसमें बहुत सारे मामला जो है वो रुके रहेंगे तो अब किसी की डेथ को या किसी की अलाइव को किस तरह प्रज्यूम की जाएगा तो 123, 24 जो है सजेस्ट है कि अगर सात साल तक उसके वेयर अबाउट का नहीं पता कंटिन्यूसली वो जिससे जिसके साथ रबते में रहता है वो उससे रबता नहीं कर रहा तो उसके बाद उसको हम अलाइव या लाइव डिक्लेयर उसको अलाइव करें डिक्लेयर करें कोर्ट उसको डेथ डिक्लेयर करेगी किस तरह करेगी उसके फैट का बर्डन किसके ऊपर होगा वन ट्वेंटी में वो आपको सजेशन मिलती है तो ये तो था ये तो हमने तीन आर्टिकल अभी स्टडी किए कि अगर कौन सा अगर फैक्ट किसी और के नॉलेज में है तो वो किस तरह प्रूव होना है और दूसरा डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ द डेथ ऑफ अ पर्सन हुज वेयर अबाउट इज अनोन फॉर अ पर्सन विथ होम इज कंटिन्यूसली इन कॉन्टेक्ट जो है उनके साथ कॉन्टेक्ट में हो और अब वो उनसे रबता नहीं कर रहा तो वो ट्वेंटी थ्री और ट्वेंटी फोर में था Now student, uh, you can ask the question. अब आप कोई क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहें यहाँ पे तो यू मे आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग एनी कंफ्यूजन इन योर माइंड उसके बाद फर्दर